We're coming to the closing stages of the second round of the Supersport Wheelchair Basketball Series for 2018. One team to catch, and that of course is the Wolverines. Welcome to the Vodacom Mandeville Indoor Centre. Feature games in this uh, package include the uh, Mongoose up against the home side, the Eagles, and the Lions up against the Suns. Before we get into that action though, let's have a look at the scores from the last outings of the teams in the series in the second round. Mongoose uh, losing quite badly there to the Wolverines. 81-43, Eagles with a good win over the Lions and the Suns uh, cleaning up on the Spears and uh, the Lions coming back against the Spears, 52-34. Eagles, good win over the Suns. Prior to these games, the Wolverines still lead the uh, log, having played eight. 23 points, that is a rich harvest. And it's the Mongoose that are bringing up the rear. Also played eight, but only nine points thus far. First up, it's the Diesel Electric Services Eagles, and they'll be playing the Mongoose. Kevin Smith has the team sheets. The lineup for the Diesel Electric Services Eagles today. They'll be leaning uh, heavily on uh, Daniel Newkey at number eight, the tall man, a uh, very key player for them. And also Alan Tatasi, who does a lot of carrying for the uh, Eagles. That's at number 14. The personnel for the Mongoose. They'll be uh, leaning really heavily on uh, Giffen Belly, number four. And uh, keep a lookout also for number 10, Rico Garden Barco who's a rookie and uh, should be seeing uh, some game time. What can the Mongoose conjure? Because they are trading by four points to 19 and uh, they certainly got a lot of work to do and it's the Eagles immediately picking up long pass through to Mamfengu. He's not going to make any mistakes. Well, as we say that, that was probably one of the easiest shots in the game. And there you see the response from his teammates. What was that? Mumfingu would know that he should have uh, sunk that. It's an easy layup. Lots of pressure, though, on these Mongoose players. But they do eventually take two, and it was a very good basket. Excellent basket because see, the player was right under the basket. Not easy to scoop it up off the glass when you've got such a little gap to try and fill with that ball. And here is the Eagles moving the ball very quickly. Well, there's a quick response. Given an extremely low fouling game, which just shows really one-way traffic for one side. Yeah, I was actually looking at the board uh, just now, and there's only two fouls being committed so far in this whole uh, match, and that's both been by the Mongoose. And that's a reflection of the Eagles, just uh, there's no pressure on the Eagles at all from the Mongoose. And the Mongoose two fouls have just been a little bit of contact. So Mamfengu for two free shots. And that uh, one did bobble around and played for the crowd a little, and he'll take that point very happily so. Shoots the second, and that was a lot cleaner from Mamfengu. Two from two on the free shots. Hartnick for the uh, Mongoose. And this is Odinga Madingi. have not really seen anything of him in this game. Excellent pass from the Mongoose, but uh, when they have these great passes and they've got positional play, they really need to capitalize. Not able to do so, but this is the Eagles in looking for a quick reply, quick response. No pressure on the Eagles at the moment, it must be said. Yeah, in and out there for Mamfengu. Taking a shot from the top of the key. Kwana has come on for uh, the Eagles. And Mamfengu has gone off. So KB and Kwana is on for the Eagles as we see Alan Matatazzi taking an excellent screenshot from the side. And uh, what an improved player he is.
So Marcus Retief is on now for the Eagles, bringing the ball over the line. And so is uh, Jack McCossie. We haven't seen a lot of Jack Mahorsi in the uh, season thus far. Well, that shot should count from uh, Retief. Yeah, it does. So Marcus Retief has the opportunity to take a free shot, takes his own rebound. Well, it comes back to him. And uh, Alan Matatasi says, well, I'll take a slice of this, tries to feed it in. And that was a little bit of clumsy play from the Eagles. A lot of slapping and interchanging going on. But uh, interestingly, as we've said before, the Eagles still creating some kind of a record yet. Halfway through the second uh, quarter and still no fouls recorded in this game yet for the Diesel Electric Services Eagles. Maybe you shouldn't mention that just yet. Easy intercept there by the Eagles. And again... It's just a reflection of how easy it is for the Eagles out there at the moment. There's so little pressure from the Mongoose. Marcus Retief looking for a, a little lap shot. And this is exactly the kind of game that suits Retief to just try and get his, uh, his shooting back on track. That little lap shot's a bit flat. And maybe use this game to try out a few different uh, approaches to the basket. That's better from you, okay. Much Choosing better. his height well. Easy interception and a little flick of the wrist from Matatazzi. And Yuki must put those shots away. They're sitters for him. William Ruber finding it uh, a tough day at the office today at the moment. He's just being blocked out of everything. But the Mongoose do come away with two points. Yeah, Madingi, the man who scored it. One gets the impression that uh, Madingi is not getting enough of the ball because he is uh, quite a mobile and a very tall player and generally quite accurate. Now that's how you take a layup under pressure. Nice comeback from the Eagles. And that was Jack Mahotsi. So Nuke stealing it again. He's had some amazing steals. Needs to keep that hard work going now and an accurate pass through this time. Mahotse not going to miss. Marcus Retief saw the man coming in across the court. Great pass from Retief, but uh, no conversion for Mahotse on that. Uh, occasion or in fact it was well, so we'll take the uh, we'll miss the easy ones and we'll just take the difficult ones and Jack Machotzi doing really well coming in and uh, again taking that one off the glass one of the better layups we've seen Madingi looking for some help and that's what happens uh, the help doesn't arrive, and when it does, it's unfortunate because it's a lot of pressure. And he has KB in corner looking for his first two points of the game. He's got them. Half a minute left in this first half here at the Vodacom Mandeville Indoor Center. And it's really one-way traffic for the Diesel Electric Services Eagles. And Kevin, to be very frank, at this level of basketball, you can't... Uh, only have registered eight points in, in a half of a game. No, you certainly can't, uh, Andy. And, uh, and good pressure there by the Eagles, holding the Mongoose there for the uh, eight seconds. Got eight seconds to get it over the halfway line. So some fancy passing from the Eagles between Inkorda and uh, Nuke. A big man-on-man -man pressure now being forced all over the court from the Eagles on the Mongoose. Well, the tail of the first half, the Mongoose will be uh, really upset with that. Uh, hitting only four out of 18 attempts in the two-pointers.
whereas the Eagles hitting 18 out of 39, giving them a 46% uh, shooting average. And uh, a lot of turnovers on the Mongoose side that's uh, been uh, converted to points by the Eagles. Final quarter underway here at the Vodacom Mandeville Indoor Centre. And Kevin, this uh, game, if we look at that uh, uh, score at the end of the third, 48-21, the Mongoose actually uh, beating the Eagles in the third quarter in terms of scoring. They certainly did, Andy. In the uh, score in the third, uh, third quarter, there was 13-9 uh, in favour of the Mongoose. So a big uh, pickup from them. Well, big pickup in Sierra must be particularly fuming because it's not as if any of the combinations that the Eagles played were weak. In fact, at one stage, I think they probably had their strongest combination on. So the Mongoose proving they can play. Yeah, certainly. And uh, considering that in the uh, first and second quarters, the uh, Mongoose only scored uh, four in each of those quarters. Well, perhaps uh, Sierra has put his team under big pressure now to try and get that bonus point. And we know how in the 2017 season how that affected the eagles of just missing out on bonus points because they really do count at the end remember 65 points gets you a bonus point and uh the diesel electric services eagles certainly won't let won't want to let that one get away with such a handsome lead at uh, at the halftime break and good but solid defense again there from the uh, eagles holding the mongoose for the uh, 24 seconds kb in corner picking up the loose ball now clock starts And all that space in the middle, Cohen Corner will take those two, and he'll get one to come. Yeah, he was fouled in the process by uh, Monometti. Not able to capitalize on the free shot. Ruba. And just to uh, get a good pass, but uh, number 12. Odinga Madingi trying to offload and very, very difficult in corner trying to take a loose ball. And uh, any, any scrum off would have been uh, very happy with a pass like that. KB in corner brings the ball over the line for the Eagles. Very, very good pass it must be said though I don't think uh, Daniel Nyuki expected that was unable to gather it in because uh, Nyuki's had a particularly good game yeah, I think uh, Daniel Nyuki might be a bit taller he probably would have picked it up but uh, just a mongoose hand got in the way sometimes a little difficult to tell in the back so away to the basket uh, that basket is good for the Eagles and suddenly the Eagles have made it very clear that they have come to play and uh, that score sheet is ticking over with regularity. Very easy basket taken by the Mongoose. They make it look so easy at times. Yeah, it's Madingi doing the work for them. He's had a good game, Odinga Madingi, for the Mongoose. And again, one just has to wonder what happened in the first and second because they just weren't in the game. Great pass into passing. Is that Mahono who scored? Uh, Eagles are going to have to hustle to get it over the halfway line. Well, they've managed to do that. It's Matatazzi with a little backward pass. Looked a little awkward, but it worked. It found its destination. And uh, KB in corner giving it straight back to the Mongoose. Bad pass from in corner. And here is William Ruba on the fast break. This really does deserve to be two points. Ruba's not going to miss that. No problem. But here come the Mongoose holding their own. Moving the ball well. Right hand side of the court.
Horner comes away. Pushes it over to Nyuke, left-hand side of the court, and a great little pass from Daniel Nyuke straight in to the center of the key where uh, Kubeka was waiting. Not able to convert, so some interesting changes again being made by the Eagles. And here's Daniel Nyuke. No problem. Eagles only seven points away now for that magical bonus point. Far more respectability in the uh, margins right now. Eagles leading 58 27. Three and a half minutes left in the game. Another two points for the uh, Mongoose, and that came courtesy of Monomezzi. Matitazzi forcing his way over the off line, but uh, looks like he was fouled. Now just had the ball knocked out of his hand. So play carries on. Easy basket. All the hard work's been done by the Eagles, and then they miss the layup off the glass. In a big game, that is uh, unforgivable. And in a small game, it should be as well, because these are the opportunities that you take to brush up on those kind of defects in the game. Mahona picks it up, shoots it through to Daniel Nyuki. And Daniel, Daniel Nyuki seeing the loose man. It looked like Alan Matatazzi. Yes, it was, playing at number 14. Reads the game well. Kevin, you've alluded to that already from Matatazzi. He's picked up a little bit of expertise playing, I believe, in France. Yeah, he certainly does, and he has been uh, playing in France, and... Uh it has a, a very good uh, vision for the game. One minute for the diesel electric services to find five points. But it's the Mongoose who get the opportunity to shoot. Bronkhorst manages to get it away and uh, Mahona holds on to the possession. He's intercepted. Great play from the Mongoose. A little underhand attempt. Picks up his own rebound. But still not able to convert the two points. But importantly for the Eagles right now, that clock is ticking. And there's another two points absolutely missed. Yeah, just uh, rushed his shot again. He certainly did. And this is what happens when you suddenly know that uh, you need those points. And I know that... Uh, in the post-match interview, Sierra is going to be fuming that they missed out on what seemed to be easy points as we hear the final who to go. Again, we go to the two-pointers. 15 out of 50 for the Mongoose, 30% average, not good enough from them. But they were under a lot of pressure from the Eagles, though. And the Eagles scoring 28 out of 71, 39%. They were 46% uh, average at halftime, so they dropped off there. And we saw a lot of the uh, easy uh, f uh, shots being missed uh, by them. 27 turnovers for the uh, Mongoose. Uh, the Eagles would have attempted to put a lot of those into points. The game leaders on the Mongoose side, uh, Monometsi, the scorers. Uh, Mandingi uh, really doing all the work uh, for them on the other sides. And uh, Daniel Nyoki, obviously the, the man of the moment for the Diesel Electric Services Eagles. Most valuable player, Daniel, congratulations. A great game you had there today. Must be happy with your performance. Yeah, actually, I mean, it's a great game. And I, was, I wasn't expecting uh, this. And when they came to me and called me, I mean, it was actually a surprise to me because I thought I actually played great. That's not my best game. Man. So tell us a bit about that game. In the first two quarters, the Mongoose weren't even in the game, seemingly. And then suddenly in the third quarter, they came back at you. Actually, I think the best way to, to win a game is a good defense. We had a very good defense and we are converting them. I mean, they, the guys compliment, complimented very well. And I mean, we had a, I mean, a very good uh, first quarter and second quarter. And that's exactly what we wanted, but we lost it in the third quarter. So personal uh, performance from you today, excellent on offense, excellent on defense, some good shots, but also some fairly simple shots missed, it must be said. Yeah, a lot of uh, I mean, easy shots missed. And I mean, I, but I'm, 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 I'm really happy with the, the way I'm coming up. I mean, this is the first time I'm here for this season and I'm, I can see myself 
coming back again. Well, you deserve to be happy. Congratulations, Daniel. You are the most valuable player. Awesome performance from Super Sports. Some goodies. Enjoy them. Thank and you, uh, we'll keep an eye and watch out for some more of those high-class performances. Definitely. Thank you. The log standings after that uh, game brings the Eagles into uh, second place on 19 points. Still the Wolverines on the top and the uh, Mongoose bringing up the rear. Certainly a good win then for the Eagles, but uh, Coach Sierra will be bitterly disappointed that once again they've missed out on that bonus point. Before we get into the action of the next game, one of the rising stars in the uh, Super Sport Wheelchair Basketball Series and indeed on the national scene is young Christian Bronkhorst. He plays for the Eagles. Let's have a little look into his life. I was growing up, I was in Destinato School from the age of grade 6. It was a high school and a normal school and yeah, because I, I went to that school because I had um, like I struggled to read and all that stuff so they sent me to that school so I just go up there and my sports I was playing, I was picking cricket and rugby, that was my passion to play and I performed good in cricket and rugby, I played for my country in that in school, school department and stuff and so yeah and then just after school I did become a welder and I started working for Proden Engineering and then I was working there for around about two years then I've got my car accident and then from my car accident I went back paralyzed from my waist down. When I saw him in the um, car I know there was serious something wrong with my kid. His friend was um, in, in instant death, the airbag broke his neck. So he can't remember the accident, lucky for that. Arabasi won cup. I was unemployed for about two years. I was working at home just to earning money, making some fish baits and stuff because well, our family is a lot of in fishing. So yeah, we like to fish and then I've, I found a job and working now at Thai departments, working for Thai companies. So that's nice. So I'm now into admin work. And then just about also three years ago, I started to play wheelchair basketball. One of my friends, also his name is also Christian, the vet, um, he said just one day, he just, um, let's go and try this out. And he said, now, okay, you, you taking me? So um, because it's far from me to drive and stuff. And he, was, he said, let's go. And he, I was starting playing with him and just practice, practice all the time. And he's failing at it, and I just keep going forward to practice every time. And yeah, now I'm sitting here three years later, playing for my country. You know, I was supposed to be a springboard cricket player, and then an accident happened. And uh, okay, I lost my hope about that, about the springboard one day. And then we started to play the ball, basketball, and but what did he achieve there was making me very, very proud of him. From the age of, since I knew him, um, he was always uh, a sport person. In every sport he played, he excelled. Rugby, cricket, everything. From where we started after the accident, it was weird and you, you, you're not used to the circumstances and everything. And the way we worked with it and the way we are now, from that time till now, you wouldn't have guessed it's going to turn out like this. My mother has a lot of support to me. She's my biggest fan because she's, if she can, she comes and looks all to all my games and stuff. So she's supporting me a lot. Then the night you get, like, you coming from work, you're tired. So, oh, I must go to practice tonight. And just, just, you just go. Don't think about your tiredness. And my mom is just like, just go, just go. That's all you must have done, just going forward. And so I feel my, when the highlight of my career is when Viv said I start coaching the, our club side the Eagles and he just told me just carry on doing what you're doing and you will create a great future for you. You have the talent. You must just start believing in yourself. I want to keep my job, so um, but I'm in a good state at my job, so I think that's not the issue, but I want to work there as long as possible that I can because it's a good company that provides me with good needs and stuff. And then in basketball, I'm like to just keep fit every day, do my practice every day and stuff because I want to play as long as possible I can for my country and continue playing for in wheelchair basketball as long as possible that I can. And so that that's my future, it's wheelchair basketball. 
So a bright future predicted for young Bronkhorst. And he's already got five caps under his name for the national side. And those were achieved on the recent uh, trip to Dubai. Next up, it's the uh, Suns and they'll be up against the mighty Lions. Can the Suns make a difference? Let's have a look. Not too much has changed on the log. Just before this game, it's still the Wolverines way on top. The Eagles uh, closing in the gap there, but they do have two games uh, over the Wolverines. The Mongoose still trailing nine games, only 10 points. The personnel for the Buffalo City Metro Suns today. A bit short on uh, players today because of a bit of an overbooking problem on the airways, but uh, look at Ayo Bonga Jim, he will be leading the pack there. Full lineup for the Lions today, and uh, Rakateng Moletti and Shane Williams at 11 and 12 will probably be leading the charge uh, for them. Very strong players on their side. Sapoya to put the ball in. Second quarter underway. Great little flick back. Obviously, something being worked out on the training ground there between Ayabonga Jim and Sapoya. And look at this quick, slick passing. Unfortunately, not able to be finished with a basket. It deserved to be so there because wonderful movement of the ball as we see Moletti coming up now for the Lions. Good defense from the Lions. They've uh, moved to a man on man, picking up the opposition very quickly and not allowing anybody to settle down for the screenshot. The whistle had gone. Shots on the line then for Mongomeli Wana. Easy as you like. Perfect free shot. And yeah, that foul is committed by Dlamini again perfect free shot first time round. Can he replicate it? Yes, he can. That is how you take free shots. The Suns over the halfway line. Wano with a very, very good pass. And how about that? Deserved to be the two points that it turned out to be. And certainly Sapoya not letting anybody down. He took that very, very quick pass straight across the, uh, the center of the key. And off the glass for two. Cecil Dumont, long attempt. Yeah, three-point attempt from Cecil Dumont, but uh, tied it up by Shane Williams, who finished off with a two-pointer. Boards moving around very, very nicely for the Suns at the moment. And uh, certainly, we've seen some impressive ball skills. Just needing to finish off some of these moves that they're creating doing all the hard work and not able to finish off as we see easy two points coming in now from the uh, Lions and that was courtesy of Moletti so the Lions not having it all their way it started off very one-way traffic for the Lions this game did but it's uh, tightening up in all aspects although that was a very very good shot there courtesy of uh, Vitboy. Sun's now trying to create something around the top of the key. Ayabongajim doing some good work. Another attempt just not finding its destination but a good steal. And he has an opportunity for two. Really deserved to be two right under the basket. Yeah, great hands there from Nzaba for the Suns, but uh, just unable to convert it to points. So Williams moving around this time to the right-hand side of the court. Normally you see Williams doing all his work on the left-hand side, but that uh, basket's going to count. Excellent take from the very slightly built Lelalazzi. He's got the heart of a lion. Great finish there by Cecil Dumont. Taking it off the glass, no problem at all. Here come the Suns trying to set something up. 
but a lot of time being lost holding on to the ball too long on that occasion and now almost having to force the shot because that clock is ticking a very strong defense from the Lions and that basket yeah the basket is going to count and he's going to have one uh, free shot will uh, Mongomeli Wana so Wana taking the very very difficult basket being fouled on the shot managed to take the two points and importantly gets a third shot but all happened on the hooter so excellent play yeah just one of the Lions players there just uh, crossing a line too soon so it'll be uh, another shot that's uh, Mazantana was a guilty party well, corrected it so the uh, early movement did give another opportunity and that opportunity was converted by Monga Meliwana. Well, on the second attempt, coach is happy. All to play for for the Suns here as we get into the second half of this clash against the Lions. Sun's having some great moments in this game, but it's actually the Lions that have done all the work under the baskets as we see them just carry on where they left off. And there was an excellent start there from the Lions. What a good pass that was from the uh, Suns finding its destination, but a very difficult shot. Good rebound picked up and a lovely finish from the Suns. And that... Uh, was an excellent basket from Ayabonga Jim. And in the meantime, it's the Lions that do come away. Opportunity and Cecil Dumont taking an excellent pass there, coming straight through from Moletti. Great, great combination. Resulting in two more points for the Lions. And that's the kind of basketball that the uh, Suns are able to play. An excellent pass through from Wana. So both teams slacking off just a little bit on their defensive patterns at the moment, allowing a lot of free play in the uh, center of the court. Moletti. Yeah, fouled in the process was Moletti, so he'll have two free shots. So post the timeout, it's uh, free shots for the Lions. Moletti to take those free shots, easy as you like on the first. This is out of the second. Yeah, and because it missed the ring completely, um, it's uh, possession straight away to the Suns. I think he was hoping to come and pick up the rebound and take another two-pointer but it has to hit the ring so the Suns moving around left hand side of the court good screen uh, uh, the screen has been set but here's the attempt and unfortunately you've got to make those pay when you set that screen and you commit yourself you've got to make it pay exuberant defense from the Lions and the Suns, and the Suns do take those two points. So one from five for Toy Well, he's got his name on the score sheet, and he'll be happy about that. But one from five, and I need to improve. And here we see that another screenshot being set up for the Lions. And uh, that's how you set a screen, that's how you take a shot. Molete able to just take those two, focused himself gave the ball the air that it needed and two points yeah, and a great screen is set by uh, Langerman for Moletti yeah, unfortunately it's always the, the shooter that gets the glory but you're quite right Kevin the screen was well set up and Langerman playing his part in that uh, maneuver here we go Moletti again straight through trying to pass through a player and that was well seen by the Suns stopping what uh, possibly could have been an easy basket for the Lions. 
You know, Dumont just picking up a foul there. Shane Williams has come back on, and uh, Elias Langerman has gone off. Well, opportunistic passing, but it's working. Unfortunately, though, the finish wasn't there because the Suns doing really well in terms of just moving that ball around, and uh, Juana was unable to finish off what would have been very slick. But here is a very slick player. Samanga Mbele in full cry. He's not going to miss that. Five from nine. Particularly valuable player in every department. He's been the MVP in a few games thus far in the uh, 2018 season. So the Sun's able to take that loose ball off a shot attempt. And that is how you do a hook shot. <laughs> that was made to look ever so easy by Ayabonga Jim. And once again, one has to comment on some of the more difficult shots that just seem to drop with ease, and yet the simple ones, when there's nobody around and you're just trying to bang it off the glass, it doesn't seem to happen. Shane Williams chooses not to shoot, pushes it out to the form man. Samanga Mbele, not on that occasion. Good rebound taken. That rebound taken by Toi. Bongichin looking to try and set something up. Decides to go for the long shot, and that's how you take the long shot. Just from the second it left his wrist, that looked homeward bound. The stats at half time always go to the uh, two pointers, which is the business end of the game. 17 out of 36 from the Lions, giving them a 40%, 47% average, and 7 out of 27 for 26% uh, average for the Suns. They won't be happy with that. And the uh, turnovers just leaning towards the uh, Sun side, which will uh, give the Lions some food for points. Well, the Lions will be very aware that they still need 18 points to get that uh, bonus point. And the bonus point really does count at the, particularly at the top end of the log at the moment, where everybody's looking for as many points as they can get to try and match the Wolverines, who so far are unbeaten this season. And uh, the Lions pretty much in the shakeup with the Eagles fighting for that second and third position. Three shots being taken by Lela Lazzi. Not too far away on the first. And rather a deceiving player, this, because although he's extremely short, he is very mobile. Seems to be in the right places at the right time. Well picked up, cleaned up by Shane Williams. Yeah, but again, that second shot didn't uh, hit the ring. So it immediately becomes dead, and the Suns have possession. Opportunity squandered. And here come the Suns. Can they respond? Well, the answer is no. They've given away a very, very easy opportunity. And up it goes for the Lions. And Moletti making absolutely no mistake on that fast break. Clock starts now. So the Lions will have a lot of time to set the shot up. But Shane Williams decides to take that attempt missed out but fortunately the ball has come back to the top of the key and there is the uh, two points that the Lions were looking for and uh, easy as you like the Lions but it, not a very good pass it must be said from the Lions and the Suns doing very well to intercept it oh, missing out for the Suns easy opportunity and uh, another intercept yeah, Shane Williams doing well there just to get his hand out of that uh, action otherwise it's going to be a foul
So the Lions missing out on that attempt, and it's the Suns. How many times have we seen that in this game where the Suns have come away looking very, very impressive but not able to clean up? Can they do it this time? Two points will count. And they might even come back for a free throw, and yes, they will. So Wana on the line. Very, very valuable point if he can take it. Unfortunately, not able to do so. He's going to have another crack at it, though. One of the Lions players was over the line too soon. Well, this is when you really need to make that point count and just rub it in. Still no change. High ball taken by uh, Samanga Mbele. Mbele, right hand side of the court, finds his way just a little deep, so pushes it back out. That was the right call. Pushes through to, uh, through to Shane Williams. Williams looking for the shot. Somehow, the Lions retain possession. Surely this needs to be those two points. Well, that was four attempts, and finally finished off by Samanga Mbele, using his heart well. Three shots for Wana for the Suns. And this is when you begin to see the value of uh, free shots, Kevin, because they've had several attempts now, quite a few being missed. And they begin to mount up when you're shooting with uh, regularity on the free shot attempts. So I guess one from two is better than nothing, but certainly they should be capitalizing. Yeah, and that should really be money for Jam, you know, because it's a static shot. Always, always going to be a foul there on uh, Moletti. Moletti missing out on the first, adjusting, taking the second. Off with five fouls. Lines at this point in time, but somehow they still just keep to keep it ticking over, and if they can just hold out. And here come the Lions. Not really faced by the fact that they're a man down. Samanga Mbele just finishing off. He's been a very, very valuable player yet again for the Lions outfit, as has the likes of Shane Williams and uh, Moletti, who is no longer with us. He's been pulled off with those five fouls. Excellent response there from the Suns. Long pass from Williams to Mbele. And that's how you do the business. A couple of quick baskets raining in. Great combination play between Williams and Mbele. Surprisingly, the uh, Lions seem to be playing a little better with only four players on the court at the moment. They've extended that lead. One would have expected the Suns to start reeling them in, but uh, a couple of quick baskets just before that timeout. Combination between Williams and uh, Mbele working well, but this was the Suns. And there was an outstanding basket taken there by Nzaba. Over the line. Remember, the Lions have only four players because they have a points problem. The combination, they don't have the required points. Two of their players off with five fouls. And uh, Seem making it look so easy. Seems to have sharpened their senses a bit, Andy. It certainly does. And they're well on track now for the bonus point. At one uh, stage, it looked like they might be battling, but only three points required still four minutes one would suggest that they'll get that with ease good play from the Suns nice basket good team effort and finished well there by Sapoyo if 
fact that there's only four players on the court now for the Lions doesn't really seem to phase them. They did lose possession on that time. And there should be an overlap every single time now from the Suns. Great movement to the ball, not able to finish off. And again, how many times have we seen that? But here's another attempt, comes raining in. And if ever there was an opportunity that the Suns haven't perhaps capitalized on, this is it. Four on five. Five on four for the, uh, the Suns. Maletti. And a strategy should be pulled together very quickly by the Suns. When you're playing five on four for this period, and there's not been any significant change. In fact, the opposition seems to have scored more baskets, and there was a, another great basket coming in there from Mazantana. There's a jump ball situation well done uh, by uh, Maletti, but unfortunately still sticks with the Suns. Basket attempt missed by the Suns. They make good on the second attempt, though. But unfortunately, it's now too little, too late. Well, we almost down to the last minute of the game. The Lions know that they need one basket, just one point, actually, to take the bonus point and this should be it indeed it is and there you see happiness on the side bonus point secured yeah scored by Mazantana and Cecil Dumont sitting on the sideline with those five fouls giving all the encouragement some uh, ball skills being shown the Ayabonga gym and still with four four versus five and the Lions come away with a loose ball in Bele Great game he's had as always. Not able to do anything, but the whistle had gone, so nothing would have counted anyway. So the game, perhaps not the prettiest that we've seen in the season, but certainly a good win ground out here by the Lions. Opportunity for another two points, and uh, opportunity just simply gobbled up. No problems at all there from your... from Mazansana. Your game leaders at the moment, the Lions, and uh, nothing's going to change from that point of view as we wind our way down. There is the final hoot here at the Vogue from Mandeville Indoor Centre. So full-time stats for the for this match, the uh, Lions hitting 31 out of 65 uh, two-pointers. That's 48% average. Picked up much better uh, for them. 19 out of 61 uh, attempts for the Suns. 31% average. That's not good enough for them. And the turnovers pretty even, so that uh, really didn't uh, have too much of an effect on the match. So the game leaders for the Lions is uh, Rakateng Moleti scoring most of the points, but assisted a lot by uh, Shane Williams on the stats side. But the Suns, Mongameli Wana scoring all the points. And also taking a lot of the steals there, but uh, Ayabonga Jim also doing his bit for the Suns. Coach, there must have been a tough uh, final quarter for you with two of your players on the sideline. Yeah, and we told little Honolo, please don't foul, don't even defend because you're on four. But when it happened, I had the confidence in the team. They just had to find their own confidence. Well, it was quite strange in that final quarter with four players. Um, suddenly, your whole pile of baskets seemed to just rain down. I think they all knew we needed this bonus point just to step up on the log, so everybody knew what was expected and everybody did their part. So the Wolverines still well on top, but the Eagles, how they will rue missing out on that bonus point and uh, not forgetting that they've played two more games already than the Wolverines, trailing it right at the bottom, the, the Mongoose, they've got so much work to do. Great wins there for the uh, Eagles and the Lions. 
And uh, my play of the day, though, comes from one of the players on the losing side for the Suns, Aya Bonga Jim. Just take a look. Aya Bonga Jim looking to try and set something up. Decides to go for the long shot, and that's how you take the long shot just from the second it left his wrist. That looked homeward bound. Thanks for joining us. And remember, if you can't get down to the Vodacom Mandeville Indoor Centre to uh, watch the basketball, join us on the 13th of July for the next Highlights Package. Until then, it's goodbye.